In this video, I'm going to show you how to source all of your Pagoda antenna parts for well under $2 per antenna. Cora here with Crash and Burn Racing, and welcome back to another video. And before we get started, I want to apologize for taking so long in between videos. I have so much stuff I've been waiting on. I'm waiting on this 150 size frame here that uses uh, the new Runcam Swift mini camera. This is a 160 version of it. I have a 180 version of it. And I also have a full size 225 stretch frame coming in. And I have all my parts ready from the build, just waiting on them. And also, I have the Baby Hawk on pre order. Still hasn't came in yet, it's a couple of weeks behind. And I have the Blade Torrent 110 on, on pre order. So, definitely can't wait to get this thing in. Looks very, very promising. But, with all that, let's move on to the purpose of this video. And that is to how to get your Pagoda parts super, super cheap. So, first of all, we're going to go over to GitHub and find our Gerber files that we can order our PCBs from. And all the sites I'm about to go through, there will be links in the video description below to where you can get them. And so we're going to click on Gerber files here. And here you'll find your part one of your PCBs, part two and part three. Make sure you download the appropriate one that you want. These are the left hand here and these are the right hand here. Make sure they match so you don't end up with two different kinds of PCBs to build your antennas. And now after you get these downloaded, you're going to head over to seedstudio.com. We're going to click over here on the Fusion tab. And we're going to click over on this order now to get our PCB order started. And first thing you want to remember is to change PCB thickness to one millimeter. Do not forget this. I actually forgot this on my first order, and that was a $55 mistake. So please don't forget that. And then you want to choose your color of board. I'm going to choose black. And everything else you should not have to change. And up at the top here, you're going to add your Gerber file that we just downloaded. So click here. I already have my three files put in this one folder here. So I'm going to start off with part one. Click open. And here you will see it upload, and in just a few seconds we will have a preview button right here, the Gerber Viewer. We will click on this just to double check everything looks good, make sure there's no errors. And here it is, here's our the way our board will come in the 4x4 pattern like this. So this uh, part 1 antenna looks great. You can go ahead and add that to the cart. And then once you add this one to the cart, you're going to do the same thing for part two. Again, go to and change your thickness to this and the color you want because it will go back to the default of 1.6. And if you get those, they're pretty much useless. So pick black, add your Gerber file, part two, open, and just do the same thing again. The part three also once you get there. So add those to the cart, get it ordered. That will cost you about $55. I noticed there's actually a cheaper option available when you choose PayPal. So you may be able to get the price down even a little bit more. But this will give you 160 sets of antennas. And that comes to about 35 cents per set. So that's a very, very good start to our, our super cheap antennas. And also, you're going to need some connectors for your antenna. Uh, here's some SMA ones that you can get from uh, eBay. Uh, this is the best option I have found so far. This option works out to be about 54 cents per connector. So not too bad. We're still under a dollar actually with that math. And then we also need our RG402 cable. And the best price I've actually found so far is on Amazon, where you can get a 10-foot length for just under $18. Uh, everything else I found on um, eBay that was in shorter lengths was about a dollar and a half, almost two bucks a foot. So with all those parts I just listed, we're looking at a dollar thirty-three per antenna. But in order to put these antennas together, you're going to need a jig, because putting them together without a jig is pretty much impossible. So the best jig that I know of right now of making of this video 
is over at uh, farview.com where you can buy antenna kits. Uh, they have a jig here that's only three bucks per jig, so you can pick up one or two of them. In all of my research, I have read that they or no one recommends 3D printed jigs as they're not accurate enough to actually build the antenna because the tolerances on these antennas is very very tight. So um, yeah, unfortunately you gotta pretty much order a jig, and this is the only one that I actually even know of. So, but once you uh, get all that together this will be your antenna right here and I was of course going to actually show you how to build this antenna but instead I ordered the wrong thickness of PCB so now I have 160 sets of PCBs that are completely useless but I hope you found this video very useful and how to source your parts for super cheap and if you liked this video please check out the description below for a link to Rest Day Quads if you have any parts you may need for your quad motors, cameras, go ahead and check them out. They have super fast shipping. It's free over $50. They price match to Banggood. They're super awesome. And everything you order through them will help me make more videos. Again, this is Quarth Crash Burn Racing, and thank you for watching.